Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be showing you guys my updated makeup collection. As you may know, I did move house, so I'm in my new place now. Um, I moved out of home and I'm in my own place now and I have a whole new makeup setup, which is very, very different to how I used to have it set up. I'm going to get straight into it so that this doesn't become too long of a video. Um, I'm wearing no makeup. I'm just chilling at home today, so I thought I would show you guys. So I'm going to start off with the makeup that you can see behind me in my little, like, set up when you're watching my videos you can usually see like that as my backdrop and so that Victoria's Secret box there usually holds my makeup empties as they accumulate um through the year um uh, and then if I go traveling and I want to take that box with me I just like empty everything out and take the box with me um over here I just have some like Kylie Cosmetics boxes displayed because I think they're really pretty over here I have um some um Makeup Revolution collaboration they did with Disney and obviously I love mermaids so that's like the aerial collaboration I just think the packaging's really pretty so that's displayed there and then over here I have some pretty packaging as well so that is a little box from like a dose of colors eyeshadow and then there's some Dior lipsticks there I think that's most of the yeah I think that's all the makeup that's on that little um, vanity display also if you're wondering what this thing is next to me it's a dehumidifier that I brought into my room um Sydney is like we're in a wet summer, like it's really rainy and humid, but it's summer, so it's like I need to bring the dehumidifier in. Okay, so this is my like vanity setup, and you've seen this vanity in a review that I did of it. Um, this is from Kama, and I have a review up on my channel already if you'd like to check that out, um, where I go really in detail about the whole um, like mirror and lights and all that setup. Um, I'm going to show you what's on the table first, and then we'll get into these drawers down here where the rest of the stuff is. So on my vanity table over here I have my Victoria's Secret bag which has my like um this is like my makeup bag that I grab to go so if I'm going somewhere I just throw this into like one of my tote bags like one of those guys and just like throw it in the bag and take it with me and then behind here I have some crystals um because I think they're really pretty and I like to look at them so um usually if this bag is moved I can like see them there and they're just sitting in this little um tray that I got I think at a thrift store. And then this is all my necklaces. I would have put this with the rest of my jewelry, um, but this doesn't fit in the cupboard where my jewelry sits on the shelf. So I just put it here and then I have this little tag that says Emily on top. Um, but yeah, coming out of the side of this mirror, there's like this little USB port and my sister bought this really handy dongle for me that turns it into three other USB things. So I usually keep like my phone charger, um, a phone charger for my boyfriend. And then this black one here is for this little... Um, little I think it's like a LED kind of light um I really like this it's a heart shape and if you know me hearts are like my favorite shape they're so cute and I love this one's pink and when all my lights are out at night I leave this on as like a night light and it makes my whole room pink I don't really have like TikTok lights or anything in my room but my whole room is pink at night because of this one light and it's just like the perfect night light it's so cute going over here I have this um like cup that my boyfriend bought from me uh bought for me from America he went to like the Hollywood Walk of Fame and so he picked up this little Emily cup for me which I love because it's so cute and then I just have my eye brushes in there and then my little Colourpop Barbie collaboration mirror which is like my favorite handheld mirror although I have this mirror um it's also great to have like a small mirror so you can like see up close details and stuff so I keep that in there as well so I have it on hand at all times and then I have my favorite palettes out because they're my favorite and these are the Dose of Colors collaboration they did with Desi and Katie so these are some really really beautiful palettes and I just think the packaging is really pretty as well also don't look at my nails they're really gross um this is a foundation from Anna Sui Anna Sui I never know how to pronounce it but it's a really pretty bottle and because it's a heart shape it gets to be on display over here I have my like pretty brushes so these are from blinged brushes these really beautiful ones I got these for Christmas from my sister and they're like literally Bedazzle, like they're amazing and then I also have my um, bold metals brushes from dose of colors and they're sitting in this aerial cup because I'm a big little mermaid fan um, I just think this is a really pretty cup um, and I have um, like all my brushes in there because I like the artwork and also because it has gold tea towels um, it doesn't go in the microwave or anything so I get to appreciate it even more because um, I get to see it every day um, moving over here I have this um, Mecca Cosmetica bag and inside the bag I just have some samples in there and then um, I have this photograph of me and my boyfriend on my 21st birthday and that drink that I'm holding by the way 
is called Emily. It's like a really girly drink. It's really nice. Um, it's not like an expensive drink or anything. It's just like girly and called Emily and I like it. So that was on my 21st birthday and um, I really like that photo. It's a really nice memory. And then over here I have the rest of my face brushes. Now usually this is really full but all my brushes are dirty at the moment so they're all um, in the wash but those are the remaining brushes. Um, but yeah, those are my usual brushes and then these are like my special nice brushes and then those are my usual eye brushes. Going over here, I have this ring light. It's a heart-shaped ring light because I love hearts. It's adjustable, so usually this is like plugged in. Where is it? This is the USB cable, and so I can plug it in over there onto that little three-way dongle if I want, and then I can light this up um, if I want to, and it has different modes, so you can make it cool tone, warm tone, natural, and then it goes, um, like you can make it brighter or dimmer. I usually don't use this function because this lighting setup is already so bright, and I don't really need much more. So usually I just use this as a tripod because it does have this little grip function here and you can like manipulate it to stand however you want. Um, usually when I'm filming I just leave this in the middle here and um, film like that but I moved it out of the way um, today just because you know it's like out of the way so it look cleaner for you guys. My vanity does not usually look like this like I'm gonna be real I cleaned it up for you guys. Um, it's not like crazy busy usually but it's not like this tidy usually. You know what I mean? Okay, now I'm going to get into my makeup drawers. Now, just keep in mind that the first drawer is really chaotic. Like, there's so much going on in the first drawer. Um, also, I should say that this side of the Alex drawers, this is not makeup. I'll get into that later. What is that? Um, but yeah, this is not makeup. Only this side is makeup. Um, so, first of all, on the top, this is um, like... Mm, how do I describe this? Wait, let me pull it out all the way. Yes, this is all the way. So over here I have like tools. So I have like scissors, um, a little shaver if I need to shave my face, um, or like shave off a brow or something. This is a lip balm, a fan to dry my setting spray. Um, this is some alcohol in case it's just like meths, methylated spirits, in case I need to like sanitize something. Eyelash curler, tweezers, just things like that live in there. This one is all my powders. This one is all of my liquid foundations. So they're all sitting in these little... Um, containers that you get um, your Apple products in. So these are all, I don't know if you can see, it's an iPhone box. Um, so yeah, those are in there. Things that use sponges go on the side. So I have some dirty sponges and then this um, makeup compact from Innisfree, it uses a sponge. So it goes in here because it's a sponge compact and sponges go on the side. Um, this is a random thing that floats around. It's like a brush um, and it has like powder in the bottom and you can refill the powder with these. Um, but it is a circular kind of tubey thing. So it fits in with the liquid foundations better. Moving back here, this looks really messy, but I swear it's actually very practical. This is another box. I think this was from a previous phone that wasn't an iPhone. I can't remember. But yeah, all of my packaging, um, I reuse like all these boxes and stuff so that it can be storage boxes. And like it kind of gives me like a little bit of separation in my drawers by separating things into different cubicles. So this one is all of my like um, eye related stuff. So I have brow product, I have mascaras, eyeliners, eye pencils, everything that's like a stick or... Um, like a pot goes in here that's eye or brow related. I kind of try and keep it so that it's like pots on this side and then um, sticks on this side and I just kind of have a rummage through. Usually my faves are on the top so obviously my favorite eyeliner is on the top and then these two are some mascaras that I've been using more frequently recently. Over here this is just a random brush that's here. I have my concealers underneath here. Um, that's also one of my concealers that goes there and um, then I have my primers. I don't really use primers as much that's why they kind of push to the back of this drawer. This is stuff that I reach for more frequently and then moving out is stuff that I use less frequently and then at the back of the drawer I have my setting spray so these are some ones that I've been using recently and at the very back of the drawer you can see there's some backup products or stuff that I don't reach for as frequently for example um, I have been saving my RCMA no color powder and it's at the back there um, I have another one of these like little um, cushion foundations at the back there um, just some extra things back there. So yeah, it's really a very practical drawer. By the way, my drawers are the Alex 5 drawers and I got these from Ikea um, and I just like put, purchased these new and built them myself and the actual vanity top is also from Ikea. I just purchased a like plain top. Um, it's doing pretty well, um, except I do have one nick on it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. There's a tiny scratch. It's like not very noticeable, but I know it's there. Now you do too. Um, also this rug on the floor, I just put this little rug down here because um, I don't want um, my makeup to fall on the carpet because I do have a carpeted apartment. Um, 
I drop a lot of makeup when I'm doing my face and I don't want to like drop it on the actual carpet. So I just have this like faux sheepskin like little matte thing underneath my feet and like underneath my seat when I'm doing my makeup and it's really practical. It shows up the makeup really quickly. So um, you might think that's like annoying because you can see there's like, you know, if I drop some bronzer on it, you can see that it's brown. But I think it's really practical for my life because I can see it's dirty and I can just throw it in the wash and it washes it. Um, so yeah, I really like having that little matte down there and it just protects the um, actual carpet from becoming stained. Um, and it's actually really soft. I was worried that the Ikea like fake sheepskin, because it's not real sheepskin, I was worried it would feel gross. Um, but it was really cheap and it feels really nice. I'm a vegetarian, so I wouldn't have bought the real sheepskin. Okay, going into this next drawer. Um, also, sorry that like my floor is like messy around. It's like, this is life. Um, this blush on top is open because it's broken. It's from Kylie Cosmetics. You saw in a video previously when it broke. So I just like balance this on top. Um, this drawer looks chaotic, but it's actually very practical. So I've got bronzes on this side, blushes down here, and then highlighters on this side. Um, I really like this setup because I can kind of see everything at first glance. I know what is underneath what, and I also can like have a rummage through as well and just like find what I'm looking for. Um, it's not too hard to find anything. Things aren't too stacked. The things that are stacked are things that I'm like going through. So these are like both products in my project pan right now. Um, so I know that they're both here. And then these are some products that I've been using more recently. So I don't mind that this is like um, stacked underneath there. Um, but yeah, it's my blush, bronzer, and highlight drawer. Things that I haven't opened yet are towards the back, like things that I use less, and then things that I use more frequently are towards the front. That's why this is like right in the middle, because it's like something I've been grabbing a lot. This is my most used highlight at the moment, because I'm trying to use it up, because I have quite a fair bit of pan on it, and I really like it. It's not like I'm using it up because I dislike it or anything. Um, but yeah, that's something that I've been using a lot, and obviously those two bronzers have been in my project pan for a bit, and I'm almost done with them, so that's why they're at the front as well. Um, moving down to the next drawer, this next one is my lip drawer, and this is a really beautiful drawer. Um, these containers, again, are just from um, little Apple storage boxes. Um, so over here, I have all my NYX soft matte lip creams. I have the mini set. So ages ago, I don't know if they still do this, but they had a collection where you could get all the soft matte lip creams in a mini size um, in one big kit. It was really affordable. And so this is where most of like the range of my colors come from in my collection, because this kit has so many different colors when I typically, if I'm purchasing lipstick for myself, I typically reach for nudes. Um, and then I also put this Rare Beauty lipstick on top because it's also in that like soft matte souffle kind of formula so I try and like keep that around there it always rolls around um at the front here I have all my Fenty Beauty glosses and my two Fenty Beauty liquid lipsticks Fenty Beauty has one of my favorite lip formulas so that's why these sit at the front here and then this is all of my lip glosses these are all different brands um we've got some like Kylie Cosmetics actually a lot of Kylie Cosmetics her new and old variation um we've got some Morphe in here um more Kylie Cosmetics. I know that there's some like um, ColourPop in here, just a range of different things. RIP Becca Cosmetics. Um, but yeah, just a range of different lip glosses. And then over here, I have um, all of my nude liquid lipsticks. So if you know me, when I'm reaching for lip liquid lipstick, I'm always going for a nude. So these are all of my favorite nude tones. And then over here, I have this like little organizer, which is really nice because it organizes things so nicely. And these are all of my Dose of Colors collaboration with Desi and Katie. As you may know, that is like the same line as that. And so it's like my favorite makeup collaboration of all time. So these get premium position in the like separated cubes. And then also I have my two Gucci lipsticks because they're beautiful and they get to be in the special spots here. Um, I have some more Kylie Cosmetics or like pretty lipsticks in here. If you remember my old room, these were the ones that used to be on display just because they're pretty. They're either pink or metallic. So get to be in there. Over here I have all of my lip liners, um, just an array of different ones, mostly drugstore because I like an affordable lip liner. And then here I have some lipsticks. These are random, mostly drugstore. I have some Rimmel, a lot of Rimmel actually. These are those new Kmart ones that I'm really into from OXX Cosmetics. They're really nice. Um, and then I also have um, some L'Oreal. What are you? Oh my gosh, this is so iconic. This is the CoverGirl um, collaboration with Star Wars when The Force Awakens came out. I kept those. They were so cool. Um, and then at the back I have, um, these are some funkier colors that I don't reach for as much. Um, so like purple, um, these ones from KVD and then another like kind of wackier color. And then I think that's called pumpkin. Anyway, and back there are some drugstore um, OG lipsticks from Revlon. We have the soft, what are they called? Soft butters lip butters the lip butters from Revlon and then um I can't remember what those are called but they're like really classic I don't really use them as much anymore but like I have them back there because I haven't let go of them yet so yeah that's what's in my lip drawer 
what I use most is at the front and then um, what I use less is at the back. So if I only want to pull out my drawer like a little bit, I can like grab what I need. Um, but if I really need something, I can always pull it out all the way. Okay, the next drawer is beautiful. And this is my palette drawer. Um, so I just have some lashes that I've been using recently just sitting on top because it's easy to grab. I have all of my Too Faced palettes up the front here because I love them. And then I have some random ones at the back. So I have some Hourglass, um, KVD Beauty. This is actually a face palette. These are all Too Faced as well, but this is a um, BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette that you've seen me use a lot. And then also this is my like own palette. So I have um, some random colors that I've bought as singles that I've just popped into here. Um, this one is the Makeup Revolution Emily Noel collaboration, the Emily Edit, the Needs. And then underneath back here, that is the Wants that one there and then I have some smaller palettes down here at the back I have some pigments that I use less frequently but I still use quite a fair bit I wear this all the time this is from Colourpop and it's the Disney Princess collaboration in the shade Under the Sea this is the aerial shade from that Disney Princess collaboration from the Ultimate Princess Celebration this is an eyeshadow palette that I never used but it was my grandma's and so I hold on to it because I miss her and then these are some more eyeshadow singles which I love and then underneath there there are some more palettes I don't know if you can see them but these I know that they're there um, so I don't really reach for these as much but when I do want to use them I know that they're there because they're all my thin palettes if that makes sense it makes sense the way I've organized it in my head uh, but these are the ones I reach for the most so they're up the front and then it's easy for me to just like grab out a tray and like pick out the eyeshadow that I want because I know the singles that I have um, and where I've sorted them these by the way fit perfectly um, these are some like Apple Pencil containers, like this is the packaging from an Apple Pencil, and they fit really perfectly with little um, pigments in there, which is really cool. But yeah, that's what's in there. And then the last drawer is, again, very chaotic, but it's kind of like my backup drawer. Also, if you're wondering what this pink thing is, I put a pink, like, fluffy towel, not towel, like a fluffy blanket always, over my chair. Um, and it just kind of like makes my chair pink and fluffy and I love it. Um, so my extra setting sprays are back here. I had extra lip products and then, um, mostly a bunch of eyelashes. And, um, these are some like extra mascara type things. I keep getting free mascaras with everything. Like anytime I buy something, I get like a free mascara. So I rarely purchase new mascara because I get like so many and I just have like so many to go through still. Um, but yeah, just like lashes and lashes and lashes down there because I love a good pair of fake lashes let me put that up the right way um extra beauty blenders you can kind of see what's back there um empty compacts i have some like you know cinema secrets brush cleaner anyway i'll show you what's on the other side of these drawers now so this is my other alex five drawer unit um the top one is just like <laughs> covid antigen rapid test in case i need some um i keep all my wallets and then back here um are all of my desi um sunglasses and then um this is like stationary and stuff it's like not so interesting if you're wondering what's underneath there i've just popped some fabric underneath there because i've been like doing a lot of sewing projects recently which you will be seeing on my channel soon um, I have some like nail polish in this one. This I'm not going to go through as much because it's not as interesting. Um, this is like hair and body care products. So at the back, it's like more body care at the front. It's more hair care. Um, I've got like sunscreen and stuff like that in there. Um, this is like for, um, tattoos or dry skin. It's called Ink Nurse. Um, it's really, really nice. It's, I believe an Australian brand. Um, can I like show you guys? Yeah. So it's like made in Australia. It's cruelty free. It's really cool. I'm really into this, um, brand it's a multi-purpose natural remedy cream anyway this is like in a zipper bag because if i go traveling this is all my little essentials that i take with me and then these like some dry shampoos and stuff a deodorant my like hairy hairbrush don't look at that it's actually a really good one though it's from tangle teaser what's on the last drawer oh yeah i know um this is like my extra um makeup bag so if i go traveling i have these ones this one's like dirty because i just put chocolate milk on it um this one's from victoria's secret these two this is the madison b morphe collaboration one um that came with my brushes um these are some like brush holders that came with like when i buy brushes um this is from when Too Faced collaborated with kvd i know wow throwback anyway and then i have these like little louis vuitton ones and they're like little nesting ones like there's so many in there and there's a small one in there there's like four um they're really cute so yeah that is what is in all of my makeup jars i hope you enjoyed this video um and yeah i showed you everything that is makeup related in my room including the little background back there oh actually this candle burning up there I forgot, usually that candle is like burning on my table somewhere, but that candle that I'm burning is really yummy. It's um, the night before Christmas and it's from 
Honey Burdette. It's really nice. I love purchasing their Christmas candles on Boxing Day because they're always half priced. Okay, that's all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little, like, going through my makeup collection with me. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, subscribe if you're going to see more content from me. If you want to see my previous makeup collection, I did upload my makeup collection last year in my old place. So if you want to see that, um, you can check that out. If you want to see those little, you can kind of like tell a little bit down here. There's little craft projects. You can see it's like loose fabric. If you want to see my new craft projects that I've been working on, I've been doing so much sewing recently. I'm really into sewing at the moment. Um, well, I always have been, but like, I'm really in the phase right now. So if you want to stay tuned for some more recent sewing projects, um, stick around, subscribe, and you'll follow me on all my socials. I'm usually Emily Titch or Emily Titch 20 everywhere. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Actually, just a little outro exit kind of clip. I thought I'd share. I have a boa, feather boa on top of a mannequin who's wearing my um, Victoria's Secret, like, pink stripe satin robe and then down there that little plastic bag you can see um is my cheer uniform it's not actually my cheer uniform it's a different cheer uniform that i borrowed long story short it's a cheer uniform down there um that isn't mine so i don't want to put it in my cupboard because then i'll forget that it's not mine and then the rest of it is like too much stuff um i will be doing a full room tour probably this week hopefully um showing you all the details of like everything else that's on my backdrop that you see and like the rest of my room that you've seen around watching. Bye!